was a night where combat history was made inside the Trigon. Husband and wife on the same card. Husband fighting for the title. Tonight it's all about Skyler. This training camp has been all about Skyler. First degree black belt in Taekwondo. She's done MMA, kickboxing. She's done Muay Thai. She says her greatest influence is her husband and her ultimate goal, Paulie, to be the most entertaining female fighter inside the Trigon. That's how you get clicks. That's how you get views, right? You want to be entertaining. You know, sure you want to win. You want to be the best you can be. But of course, the entertainment value, the shock value of BYB, the entertainment value, that will keep bringing people back to watch you specifically and of course, build your fan base. I mean, she never got a chance to get started against Miranda Barber. And yes, Miranda utilized a great, aggressive and constant attack. Skyler looking to adjust, of course, Benny. Okay, now, Mike, what happens if you go and you test and they tell you you're pregnant and you're about to fight? And then they found out, no, 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 it was a false alarm. So that was the mental yeah. thing that uh, Skyler was already feeling it. So she had a lot of things going against her. It was not going to be her night. And I mean, you can't even recognize her husband without the purple hair. I mean, <laughs> that is the berserker in the corner of his wife, Skyler. Ladies and gentlemen, this men's middleweight contest is scheduled for five two-minute rounds and is presented by the Galloway Group. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. She stands five feet six inches tall. She weighed in at 156 pounds. She is making her bare knuckle debut, and she fights out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Introducing... She holds a bare knuckle record of zero wins with one defeat, and she fights out of Lakewood, Washington. Introducing Skyler the Goon. Protect yourself at all times, you must obey my commands. Let's touch, touch this. Good luck and God bless. I love the fact they don't go back to the corner. They just stay right there and they are ready to go. Burns and D's. Five two minute rounds in the middleweight division. Makes the trip, makes the trip to one another a lot shorter. You got that right, and here we go. Skyler Burns landing the first punch. They work in the clinch early. Two minute rounds for the women here inside the BYB Extreme Trigon. And you know, right away, Dees has mastered that tri plum. She knows how to use the tri plum, and that's been stopping Skyler Burns. And that's where she feels she can do some damage right there. And she may be done with her power lifting days, but that does not mean that she has lost her power. That's a nice jab by Deese right there. And I'm sure Skyler Burns is feeling that strength when we get into these clinch situations. Well, I think one of the things, Polly, that Skyler's got to learn is how to manage that distance. Yeah. Sometimes you can get too close. Yeah. And you got to air it out a little bit so you can able to get some leverage on those punches. Well, that's the thing. Ne neither one really seems adept at getting that leverage on their shots. They're 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 sort of awkward and that at that middle range. They end up getting really close to one another and then trying to create space on the inside. And right now it's more of a wrestling match, but it seems like Dees is physically a little bit stronger. And that is something that she talked about in the fighter meetings, guys. She needs to jab more go to utilize the basic boxing skills like her reach in this smaller confined space as again they work some dirty boxing I and mean, even even at a distance Skylar Burns is completely squared up I mean look even when they break you'll see her she'll be completely squared up so she's a target either way she has that Taekwondo background but I think Taekwondo you would be angled down no that's that's she's, exactly what I was thinking Polly that's why I mentioned it 
how squared up she is, even when yeah. in the, the small moments they're out of distance, and it allows these to at least start things off with a jab. Two minute rounds, boy, you better start fast. You got that right. Good shots landed by Dees. Some cut on the eye of Dees throwing it. J.D. Burns in the corner of his wife. That's an interesting scenario, huh? Love it. I know my wife's got selective hearing, so I don't know if she's actually hearing it is now. <laughs> Some action from that left trunks. A couple of right hands there by Skylar Burns, a little sharp jab in return by Dees. A couple of exchanges of jabs. Not a lot of shots really landed clean on there. There's a lot of wrestling in there, a lot of dirty boxing. But nothing that really got it somebody's attention that you'd say, wow, that was a big shot. Skyler told us she is 100% ready. She's been chomping at the bit since the very end of her debut against Miranda Barber, round number two. Skyler Burns in the white, in the black is Kesey Dees, fighting out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Skyler would benefit, and we saw in the highlights, from creating distance, but Casey Dees will not allow it. And you know, and Paulie, I, mean, I think I, Casey Dees has to learn how to defend herself because she doesn't roll with a punch. She keeps no. it, and that's how I think she got that cut. She doesn't I mean, really roll with it yeah. and move that head. Yeah, I don't even think any of them really have a lot of defensive uh, acumen. It's something they've got to learn. To tell you the truth, I don't even think Skyler Burns is, is trying to box. I mean, she's trying to work her way in, too. So it's like... It's, I feel like they just both wind up on top of each other somehow. I don't feel like there's actually any, I don't see any t any specific game plan from either girl. I just feel like it's get get at my opponent and see if I can land a better shot. And there's Skylar Burns just does land some good shots. And she backed off these. If she just gets a little bit of space, but she's been effective. But it's a, it's attrition. It's attrition. And then there, these gave that space. And there it is. Yep. There's some shots. And you see that time she aired it out. She had some leverage there where she could turn that punch and not just paw it. But she was able to throw enough punches in combination to where now Dees isn't trying to smother her. Yeah, and she's Deese looking is... for the finish right here. Yeah. That left eye is very swollen. Yeah. The left eye of Casey Dees. But, like, what's the way Dees turns her, her head? It's almost like she's giving her that left eye. Oh, yeah, Dees is there. fast. She doesn't want it. Yeah. She doesn't want it. They got to stop this. She doesn't want to fight anymore. Burns is ready to enjoy her first victory. And the corner of D should probably start looking at it because you can see her reaction from a dead look. You'll see the way she reacts here. She got nothing left. Running those stadium steps, paying off for Skylar Burns. Yeah, she's great condition. I mean, she's been wrestling, she's been fighting, she's been throwing a bunch of combinations. Yeah, her condition is very good. And you see D staggering back to the corner. surprised if it goes on around the way this fight quickly here at the start of round three. Yeah, it's, it's just a, more of a, an attrition battle. But you know, Bill Clancy was very direct in saying, yes, you got to fight, otherwise I'm going to stop it. Yeah, and Skyler has more of a concept of putting combinations together. Yeah, I think that's it. Skyler Burns has her hand up like she agrees with you, Benny.
with their first BYB Extreme victory. Dr. Jerry Obed stops the fight. And Skyler Burns is now one and one inside the Trigon. Gets a big hug from her husband, JD. Job well done. She was relentless, you know, and, and maybe the technique isn't absolutely perfect, but what was there, she took advantage of. When she gets in there, when she finds enough space, I'll tell you what, she knows she has the concept of combination punching together because her conditioning was very good. You can see that she put together some really nice little speedy combinations on the inside. I, I'd say she needs to work on, though, the entrance maybe being a little bit less squared. Gates was even worse than her defensively, so it didn't ultimately it didn't matter. But being as a better fighter, she maybe blazed herself a little bit up there on her entrance. And then, of course, once she gets inside, you know, use those combinations that, she's throw, that she was throwing. Because ultimately, those are what finished the fight. But for me, the entrance is what she probably has to work on more. Uh, uh, the way she's going to enter the punch zone. Against a more adept fighter, uh, she's going to have a little bit more trouble getting into that punch zone. You may want to look towards that Taekwondo stance she's been yeah. utilizing for <laughs> yeah. you know over two decades and you can you can you can tell by the way she comes in as a softball and then the convention yes. she goes back and forth so she doesn't stay in one area to establish her base of power damage had been done and Skyler Burns was not going to be denied. I see her husband, JD, proud husband. One of the more entertaining fighters we've had at BYB. I see we see the finish by Skyler Burns. And yeah, again, it, was, it ended up just be a battle of attrition. She just wanted it more, and she just kind of just overwhelmed these by the end. Again, we talked about the combination punching. So it just keeps her hands moving. It doesn't have to mean anything in particular. Keep those hands moving. Dee's already is looking for a way out. And Casey Dee's looked like she had that right chin glued on her right shoulder. Yeah. And that's what was inviting that right hand in there all day long. Congratulations, Skyler Burns. Oh, that's a bad cut. Wow. Man, that is nasty. That's going to leave a mark. You got that right. <laughs> that is going to leave a mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Polly might know a little bit about that. <laughs> I, got a, I got a few marks from my days. <laughs> to make it official, here is Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bill Clancy calls his stop to this contest. At one minute, 21 seconds of the third round, Declaring your winner by TKO by Dr. Stoppage, Skyler Burns. Skyler Burns victorious tonight. JD will be one of our fighters featured when we head to the O2 in London next month.